Good evening again, and again, welcome. This time we have South Dakota State University, our head coach Aaron Johnson, student athletes, Maria Bober, and Kristen Roder. Yeah, congratulations to uh, Oklahoma. I thought uh, they played very well. I shouldn't have, uh, I can't remember who asked me, but secret for winning, I guess. I shouldn't have given it up because I think I said you have to make shots. And Oklahoma made shots in the first half. They shot the ball very well. They hit some big jump shots and uh, maybe stretch us out a little bit. And we didn't make shots. And that wasn't the only thing that happened tonight, but had a couple more of our shots within a couple feet gone in. I think that could have changed the complexion of the game. Uh, but Oklahoma showed a lot of toughness, a lot of energy. The crowd got going. Better team here tonight. So, we've had a great experience here. We enjoyed it. Appreciate the hospitality. We were treated really well, and uh, I want to say thanks for that. At this time, we're going to open it up to our student athletes. Again, we do ask that you please state your name and your affiliation. Hey, Kristen, Jenny Carlson from Oklahoma. Can you talk a little bit about Daniel Robinson and how she affects things, and not just necessarily her scoring and her assists, but just the attention that she demands all the time out there? Um, She's a phenomenal player, and she's just everywhere on the court, offensively, defensively. I mean, you need to be aware of her. And I, I mean, the thing that impressed me the most is probably her explosiveness and her quickness. I mean, you throw past someone, and she's six feet off them, and then the next, next thing you know, you look, and she's taking it the other way. So she's just a very, very good player. Maria, Jason needs you KDLT. Maria, obviously a little emotional right now, but uh, do you hold your head up high? I mean, this was a tough team. You guys played them tough, and obviously another trip to the NCAA tournament is pretty. Uh, good thing to go out. Um, you know, it is it is very emotional, but I think um, you know our team did a great job of fighting back this season, and Oklahoma was a really good team. And I think um, we just we went out there, especially the second half. We played our hearts out, and so you can't be too uh, upset. We left everything on the floor. Kristen, the first couple minutes, their athleticism and the crowd was it maybe even more than you guys expected? Um, I wouldn't say it was more than we expected. I think it just took us a little while to kind of get used to it. Kind of took us the whole first half. You know, we we played a little bit faster than we wanted to, and you know, their their presence inside kind of um, forced us to alter some of our shots, and it just took us a little bit longer than we wanted to to get comfortable out there. Kristen, you got to be happy though with the way you guys played in that second half. I mean, you didn't fold up. You're down 13 at halftime, but. You know, maybe some might have in the stuck crowd there were thinking it was going to be a blowout, but it wasn't, and you hung tough. Good. Yeah, definitely. I'm proud of our team, proud that we fought back, and I think we did a, a great job of representing um, South Dakota State and representing our program and what we're all about. Maria, did you feel like, uh, especially at the beginning, like they were a, a little faster, a little more physical on the inside? I mean, how long did that, Kristen said, it took a while to get used to? How long did you feel like it took for you guys to get there? Um, I definitely think at halftime, you know, we talked about as a team that we just need to go out and be composed. You know, we got to play our own pace. And so I definitely think the second half we just started playing um, jackrabbit basketball. And it just it took a little bit, but we finally got in the second half. And unfortunately, it was a little too late. Marie, was it frustrating? You guys got within 10 time after time after time in the second half and chances to get closer. And it just wouldn't fall. You had good looks. To, how, how were you able, guys able, I guess, to kind of keep firing away and, you know, not let up at that point? Um, you know, it, it, it was our last game, you know, so we, we knew we had to leave everything on the floor and we were going to go after every loose ball and, um, you know, we'd score and they'd score, but we just knew that um, in the end we were just going to have to give it everything we had. Maria, have you ever faced at size and size? Just talk about, uh, you know, obviously it was pretty tough in the paint tonight, wasn't it? Um, yeah, they, their uh, Oklahoma posts are really good, um, you know, and they... Uh, See, they, they did a very good job, and I think as a team we did a whole of, you know, a, a good job as a whole helping in on the post, but um, they're a very good team, and their posts are very skilled, too. Brady Jales and Kellogg Sports. Uh, what's it mean to you going out and, and knowing that you were part of, of four postseason experiences in your time here? Um, it's awesome. You know, um, I think we are very blessed as three seniors, and, um, you know, we'll never forget the moments that we had. Maria, there was obviously a difference in athleticism, and yet you guys found a way to kind of overcome that. Describe as, as a player what you know, what kind of attributes you guys have that allows you to do that. I think we just we fight. You know, we're not afraid to get on the floor and get loose balls, and they they're very athletic. And you know, I think that we did we did give it all of our heart, and we were going after loose balls. So I think their athleticism and our effort, you know, kind of equal. Kristen, talk about when you're out there shooting and they close so quickly, uh, I mean, how that affects you as a shooter because you knock down a couple threes, but then there are a few where you look like you have an open look and they're right in your face last second. 
Yeah, um, they're very athletic and they they're very good defensively. And you know, from a, from a shooter standpoint, you just have to be patient and and try and find other ways to score and find other ways to stay involved in the game and get some rebounds and stuff. But yeah, they were very good on the perimeter defensively tonight. Kristen, being in the tournament two years in a row, I, I imagine you guys are kind of past that part of it. Moving forward now into next year, uh, what do you think you guys learned from the second experience or, or you know, uh, that, that may help you get over that hump and advance in future rounds and future tournaments? Um, I think um, we've learned not only in the tournament but this whole year that it's every year gets harder. And, I mean, we struggled early in the year and we really had to fight back and really had to improve a lot throughout the year. And this year has been, we just learned a lot, I mean, as a team. And, we need to get tougher. We need to get physically stronger. And I mean, it's not. I think our team has the potential to be back here, you know, every year from here on out. But I think it's just going to take a lot more work every year. Ray, how do you feel about uh, walk away from the program and what you guys, as seniors, helped uh, contribute to where it's at and where, like Kristen said, going forward, uh, what what uh, you guys have kind of gotten started? It means a lot, you know. From the past years, obviously, um, having postseason tournament play, it has meant a lot, and. Um, us three seniors are very blessed, and we know that um, our time here, you know, is obviously limited to four years. But we uh, gave it everything we had, and we're uh, happy to have started something at South Dakota State. Do you feel like uh, you guys ran out of time? I mean, one thing oh, you did not do was put you away. Players, please. <laughs> um, I think, uh, you know, if we could have just been a little bit sharper in the first half, we maybe had that half back and redo some things, but you know, that's just the way it goes. You only have 40 minutes, and like Maria said earlier, we played our hearts out, and we, we left it all on the court, and you know, I'm proud of how our team fought back. Any further questions for us? Do we have this? Maria and Kristen. Coach, you got to be, I know it's disappointing to lose, but the way your team fought in that second half, like we asked the girls, you got to be happy with the way you fought back. And you had it to seven a couple times, but just couldn't get any closer. Yeah, we just didn't play real well in the first half, and uh, Oklahoma did, so there's always two sides to that. I'm not sour grapes about that at all. We did play better than we did in the first half. Uh, we just played really uh, uh, just out of character, I guess. You know, we had post players we really put down the floor and were probably too aggressive. Took some bad shots. Um, a couple of poor turnovers, I thought. And, uh, and Oklahoma made shots, you know. And, and uh, when they make perimeter shots, that, that makes them really good because their inside game is, is awfully good. So I just wish we could have that first half back. And, you know, had we played better in the first half, maybe the second half we wouldn't have, have, have played well. So uh, coming off of the first half would have been easy to maybe fold the tent and, and not really lay it out there in the second half. So, yeah, I think everybody feels better about the second half with that first half still staying as I think. Coach, when's the last time you played a zone? I'm thinking, Terry. Um, I guess we did a little bit first game of the year against Kentucky. Maybe mixed it in a little bit. Did you feel like that paid off a little bit, though? Well, we've practiced it all year. It's not like we just all of a sudden drew it up. Um, you know, we had a lot of time off from the Summer League tournament, so we actually worked out a few different things that we hadn't shown a lot and, and the hope and the, and the idea of maybe out of necessity. I thought we handled it pretty well. We just got scored on right away the first couple of times we settled in it. We also trapped a little bit out of it. We uh, switched to man a little bit out of it. So uh, if it did anything for us, I think it got them to, to maybe settle for some jump shots. We lost a little bit of their aggressiveness going to the basket, and that obviously caused us a lot of problems. Aaron, when I asked Kristen, can you just talk a bit about Danielle Robinson and just the attention she commands out there? Yeah, she's just, you know, I think I said yesterday, she's going to be the big or a big difference in this game. She'll play a deciding role. And, um, you know, defensively, she made some plays. Yeah, and Macy's a good player. Uh, I'm not saying Macy's as, as good as, as Danielle is, but our point guard's a good player. And, um, you know, she really caused Macy, I thought, some problems. Macy subbed down in the second half, I thought, looked much more composed. But in the first half, I thought. Um, you know, she got the better of that position. Uh, and she rebounds the ball, she passes, she makes some big jump shots for him. Uh, yeah, she's a good player. 